morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beta plan, playing Vampire the Masquerade on the Tribal Mode. So, uh, yeah, I didn't actually make the last episode quite a bit longer. So sorry. Uh, but, oh, at least it was full of action. Hello there. You used to be a mini boss, yes. Oh, and they cancelled the way you used to be able to uh, kind of easily win from him. Because if you sat all the way back here, well, you could not be hit by that explosion that you see over there. And then it was a case of the sniper rifle. Well, less you do as I do, and by accident, because you play, for instance, TF2 and mouse 2 is your turn to fire button, you constantly activate your powers. This is when his shield is down, this is the moment when I should have attacked. And now he has it up again. Oh, this seems like the guy that was at the... Uh, cemetery. Yes, indeed. Oh my, I have like not enough accuracy to carefully get through this. I almost wonder if I should... Did they remove... The possible chance of... There used to be fires up the staircase so you couldn't really get to him. But that seems to have been removed. Oh, now they're back. And I, that explosion pushed me into the fire. That is really unfortunate. Can I take the skeleton out? Yes, I can. Because it might be in my, my way. Interesting death animation for a skeleton. So let's take a blood bag because I was hit in the end. Pushed into the fires. But the fires were gone. But not anymore, so it seems. Alright, then it's time for Cenobal Swarm. I want to get... Seriously? There is no way... Oh, and now they, they, they deactivate. Oh well. No, no, no. Be careful. Actually, this can also explode. Okay. New defense mechanism. No problem. Should use this item once in a while. Don't tell me he's immune while those that shield is up also from damage from the side. Wow, these explosion radius are gigantic. Gigantic. Just let's just wait for the shoulders down. Ow. I'm an impatient bastard, apparently. Shield is down. And he's on fire, but he's not doing anything. Uh, Wood love explanation? Oh! That seems like he has a death animation. But I wonder if he's stuck in it. Oh! Yeah, he's um, a little glitched, I have the feeling. That did it. Alright, well... That was already a bit weird, but... Uh, we are through. Ow. Mm, you came just in time. Ow! Who is firing at me? From where? You are shitting me. The skeletons are firing their guns. We 
we need to take out the skeleton so that we can drain the human. No, ow. No, it targets me. It's still targeting me. We need that to stop. <laughs> that, my friends, is a jump shot. But with the gun, slight inaccuracy and... Uh, did I take it? I took it down. Very good. Now we have a little date with our snack over here. Thank you so much. Mm. Blood. Doesn't it taste nice? No, I think it does. Once again, Vampire is one of the most interesting undead to me because of their duelic nature. They are still human looking and they have to live with humans, but also they need them as food. And it is a constant struggle, so it seems, or so you would think. It's highly interesting. Still a very weird death animation for a skeleton, but we're just not going to be bothered. What is that? That seems like a very special person to me. Oh no, this is just... <laughs> the, the lightning make it look like it was some kind of new creature that I hadn't seen before. But this is just a blood doll. Hmm. Mini boss taken down. Can we also take down the true boss in this episode? I can't remember where he is. I think it's down here. All right. Uh, let's get Black Metamorphosis ready. And from this fight, you could obtain the most powerful sword in the game. So, that would be kind of good for us as being us. As we are a melee character. Wow. Good, the girls are with me. Time to get inside. We are here. Well, this is clearly a... A cesspit of some fun kind. Hmm. There you are. I recognize the smell of your blood, young canine. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Hmm. Oh, the first sentence is now a bit silly because he escapes the first fight, which originally he... Well, you could defeat him. Doesn't that make me wonder? Well, it does, but you won't fool me. Puppet. The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. The blood is wasted in you. Wasted! I wonder if perhaps my humanity sh must have, should have been even lower when I met him because, well, they did say on the site in the Antotribo that you could sign with this about, but I just don't see the answer. Oh. Puppet, by the way. For who? Lacroix? Nines? Because I don't like either of them. Miserable, ignorant Gatherspawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. Mm. What? What do you think is going to happen then? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. What he means is the myth among the kindred, the vampires, that when the ancient speaks and wants something, 
that even if you are a thousand miles away but you are from the same clan and you feel and well a pull to do his desire no matter where you are how far you are you uh, many generations you are away from him or how unpleasant it is or, the pull is just too strong it cannot be denied and that is what he is referring to as a puppet wait but what is going to happen is the sarcophagus is opened because i kind of want to know because the prince is kind of hard pushing on that and i'm not so sure we should simply because i don't see what the hell bent everybody is over oh well he doesn't care to tell me and he goes into his own transformation the zulu shape out we need to be oh does he also explode from himself we may need some blood bags in between I just went into frenzy mode. Can't really do much about that. All I need now, right now, is a blood bag. As soon as frenzy mode ends. Thank you very much. One Elder Vitae, please. Because that didn't went quite as planned. In fact, I think it's time for the first ever potence. In order to be able to hit him really hard where it hurts. It's also the first fight where I actually do not, uh... Well, Black Metamorphosis isn't helping me so much as it is normally. Ow, I already need... Yeah, I need a blood, a blood bag. But that's okay. We have enough money. We have more than enough money. We can always buy new blood bags. It is fine. No problem whatsoever. Ow. And with potence, I am starting to hit him for a significant amount of hits. Like, 60 damage each time I hit him. Also, standing on the blood, by the way, hurts me, I noticed. Ah! We got it. Had to swing my mouse around in order to take and get that hit done, but we've done it. Alright. Let's see if the sword is still present. Ow. It used to be ow. It's really annoying if you can't send the blood. It used to be around this area. I really don't want to miss it because it was like the best sword in the game. But it used to stick out of the ground, I think. At the back of this cave. Oh, hitting the flesh hurts me. It's not the blood, it's this flesh thingies I think yeah all right uh, excuse me while I'm looking for the, the torch also hurts yeah it's fire that shouldn't surprise me actually but it kind of did for a moment there does anyone see a sword anyone am I missing something here I don't see a sword. Uh, well, perhaps this mod has removed that. It was a unique sword and it tended to drop in this area. Oh well. I say I can't find it. Oh, let's get out. Alright, that was the Sabbat. And they weren't so powerful at all, seeing that guy went quite easily down. Yes, of course I had some help, but uh, I think I kind of did the main damage there. And yes, it cost me a blood bag or two, an Elder Vitae, I think, and a blue blood bag, but we can buy that back. Where the heck are we? This, for me, is a totally new area. Oh, because that is fair. Where the heck are we? I have the feeling we are back in Hollywood. I can see another creepy crawly creatures. This whole new dungeon, this dungeon is new. Oh no. We have more creepy crawlies. Well, interesting at the end of the dungeon. Let's see what we can do about it. 
I'll blind them. That's one dead. We have become more powerful since the last time we met them. So... Uh, let's see what we can do about this. By the way, before I remove everything over here... That seems like a grenade that was pushed into me thanks to Heather. That feels incredibly stupid. Oh well, auto save. Yes, Hallowbrook sewer. Well, let's load it. I'll show you that, but that was not a death that was kind of caused by me. That was just a random grenade falling out. And it said, well, you know what? Oh, also, I explode this thing, it's always going to hurt me, apparently. Oh, well. Now, that grenade, I dodged it quite well, and then had her, by accident, put it back into me, which is kind of like... Heather, you just caused your master to die. Voila, there's the grenade. Get away from it. Explodey, and no problem. But there's no way for me to get over here. Okay, so I had to go through that area. I still took damage, by the way. I think that the, the exploding radius are way too large. You can't just justify that by any sense of the imagination. I've taken damages from things that I am clearly far, far away from game-wise and it don't no matter. All right. This seems familiar, this type of layout. Seven. We can do that. We just need to change our clothes again. And then I think we have seven indeed. Because we can reach the maximum of ten. We already arranged that. Wow. Okay. We need a wrap. We can say whatever we want. Uh, I'll, I have a feeling that this might also cause combat, seeing that Heather is already spasming out. I oh, I need a little bit of blood. Bubble. I hope that this door does contain some goodies. Well, seems better. Uh, we'll probably need this again. All the password in order to avoid glitches uses only two digits one and two digits zero in the keypad. For a password in order to avoid glitches, use only two digits. What? All the password in order to avoid glitches uses only two digits one and two digits zero in the keypad. On the keypad. Oh, okay, so apparently this area may have a glitch now and again. Again. Well, thank you at least for the blood bag. Let's uh, first see if we can do it without uh, doing this type of thing. Huh? Oh, I think this may be the, the, the path they're already talking about. Eleven. Yeah, okay, so that is the one with... Oh, why, why are you guys not attacking this little creature? Sometimes they're in the dark. Um, so if we can get out of the sewer normally, there's a way out of it without, well, of, to avoid glitches. I would like to show you all of the mobs though. I kind of am kind of keen on not using it. Oh, I've been an idiot when I was around here. Something tells me we need to... Alright, we can stop that. We can activate that. We can activate this. 
That probably has changed something. Hopefully we can get out of here. By the way, I should... Now I see change back into my heavy clothing. So, if it's correct... No. Doesn't change a darn thing. But I did notice this pill bottle. Not that that really, really matters. Um... Yeah, for the sake then of being fast... Yeah, I really don't want to do that actually in a sense. I, I kind of find it stupid. I assume you probably have to go through here. But I don't see an exit. Let's try that one more time and if it fills then unfortunately I'm going to have to cut the episode short. But um, yeah, interesting to add this little dungeon at the end. I, I don't see anything else here that's logical. I've turned this now. After that I put the other two other things on, so... And there's no other exit that we can see. This is just an, a little puzzle area that has been added. Not a combat thing, and that's why I wanted to show it, because I've said so many times that this mod adds mainly combat, and now... Oh, that is so annoying. Oh well. Zero, zero. Password fill. Did I... Did I misunderstand your message? Let's have a listen to that. Hold a password in order to avoid glitches uses only two digits one and two digits zero in my keypad. Use only two digits one and two digits zero. Oh, this is one one zero zero. I That was me. One one zero zero. Oh yes. get behind me. Henry, your has changed in a little bit into a little bit more sultry now that you've become a vampire. So, uh, unfortunately... Password filled? Okay, guys, uh, my watchers, uh, also some girls, but mainly guys, I'm going to have to cut the episode short. I'm going to have to find out how to get out of here, uh, also without trying to use the password. Uh, but it's going to take me a little bit more time, and I'm not sure if that's going to be too interesting to watch. More or less like they added that little search for the astrolite in the uh, sewers below the King's Way. I say I thank you for watching and remember, great peril yields great beauty.